Assalamualaikum uh, everyone. We meet again and in this video we will continue to learn about reversible and irreversible process and we also will learn about types of thermal processes which is we learn about isothermal, isobaric, isochoric and adiabatic. Reversible process. Reversible process occur when the backwards reaction, okay, meaning that product forming the reactants takes place relatively easily under certain conditions. The products can react to produce the original reactants again, and this process also can restore both system and surrounding to their initial state. Example of reversible process or reversible changes is like melting and dissolving can be changed back again. Uh, so this mixture can be separated out by methods like filtering and evaporating. For example, when you uh, dissolve a salt in a water, okay, so the forward reaction is you will get a salt water, right? Okay. But then from the salt water, which is the product, you want to get back the reactant, which is the water and salt. You use a uh, separation methods like evaporating, for example. Okay. Next is irreversible process. Most chemical reactions are considered irreversible, meaning that uh, the products they are made cannot readily be changed back into their reactants okay so it is the forward process okay they go to completion and cannot be reversed easily system and its surrounding can both be restored to the initial condition and important things that you need to know is all spontaneous process are irreversible and all real processes are irreversible for example, of irreversible process is the direct transfer of heat from a hot object to a cold object and also burning. Okay. For example, uh, when you burn a paper, okay, uh, you we you will get ash, okay? And we cannot uh, turn back the ash into a paper. Alright? So this is what we call the irreversible process or real process where we, um, the product made, the products cannot readily be changed back into their reactants. Next, we look into types of thermal processes. There are four types of thermal processes that you need to know. The first one is an adiabatic process which is a process during which no heat enters or leaves the system. Second type of thermal processes is an isobaric process, which is a process that occurs at constant pressure. Isochoric process is a process that takes place at constant volume. And the last one is isothermal process, that, which is a process that occurs at constant temperature. So you need to know all these uh, kind of thermal processes and usually in the question they will ask you um, on how to determine the internal energy based on this uh, kind of uh, thermal processes. Let's say for example, the, the question will ask you how to determine the internal energy at constant volume. Okay. 